Today we're gonna be talking about intro into BDBs. So how to convert geometry and using the power that Houdini has for um, some really cool um, BDB slash fog slash particle slash pretty much conversion of any kind of geometry action. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a font and I just typed fire in here and you know we I created a geometry you know a geo I'm coming here into the geo and put in a font and just type in whatever you want and uh, and then I created a poly extrude and I made sure to output back you know so that it's filled if it's not filled then the BDB is not gonna work okay um, and the reason why I decided to do just as regular font is to demonstrate how cool it is when you have geometry that basically doesn't have any um, um, any lines here you know uh, it's basically just like flat geometry usually it, if you were to like subdivide this or something you know it's it's going to look weird um, just just doesn't have enough subdivisions for for going into subdivide uh, into subdivide like enough segments so sometimes when I have stuff like this that I want to oppress, you know, you can always use a divide sub or there's other techniques, but I enjoy using the power of VDBs. So I lay down a VDB um, and usually it comes in with a much higher voxel size. So I'm reducing the voxel size to a 0.01 and then I'm laying down a convert sub. And if you revert this to defaults, it usually converts it into a volume right but I'm converting it back into polygons so as you can see um, it creates sort of a smooth um, organic geometry um, there's a couple of benefits that I've found when using this obviously uh, it's still low resolution here and there's ways of fixing that but uh, the benefits is how uniform the geometry uh, quadrangulated is set and it's almost like a, a different kind of beveling effect you know so when you render it you know right now it's not fully sharp it has so, sort of like beveled edges on some points like you can see it here so that's kind of a, a, a cool effect that it creates um, now in this example we did the same thing we turned it into um, the polygons into a BDB right but then I'm laying down a smooth sub, right? And then what it does is that it just like smoothens it out. And you can come into this and, and control how, how much you wanna smooth um, your geometry and how much voxel size you want it to have, you know, like um, it, it, it'll create some very interesting um, solutions. Um, and for the sake of theory, in the past, um, this VDB, smooth sdf is what used to be the inbuilt system for uh smoothing liquid simulations with vdbs that's the old way that the liquid sims used to work um but that would be on another subject right so as you can see we get some pretty cool results using that um but it gets even more interesting when we combine this with points so say we turn the geometry into a points from volume and we usually it comes in with a really high point separation so we want to reduce that to like a 0 0.01 or some 0 0.03 just so that we can check it out fast and then i move the jitter scale a little bit so that it's not fully uniform um we're doing bdb from particles so a couple of things that you want to tweak here, um, you want to make sure that the voxel size revert to defaults and point radius revert to defaults. So when you have it as defaults, the point size, point radius is massive. So that's why I keep it, kept it low here and it's kind of like a trial and error and the voxel size I reduce as well. Um, and then once we convert this back to geometry, you see that we get a different result you know and then uh so this is kind of a similar way of how fluids um kind of work like you could make this look like some sort of fluid 
you can see how that like if it, if it was much more higher resolution and it moved like this plus a smooth it begins to give you some quite um fluidy kind of results and uh and interesting solutions and this is with a very very low point size okay and here's another way that I, I use VDBs to create some interesting shapes. So if you come in and you grab whatever geometry and you also turn it into a VDB, you can combine them. So when you combine and you convert, you get some very different and interesting results. Uh, so definitely something to play with, uh, with the subtract. It's kind of like a Boolean boolean solution but it's going to give you some it's given me some really interesting results you know so so just something to test okay and then so if we leave it at subtract you can get something like that and then on the vdv convert the iso value and the adaptivity uh, adaptivity is going to change you know how thick you're going to get the result so check this out it's pretty cool how we can control reduce the thickness increase the thickness of our final result and then from bdb from polygons if we even decrease this we're gonna get much much sharper edges so say we got something like this and we like it and but we want to combine it with some sort other kind of geometry and we want them both to be one single piece of geometry so it could be anything like if we even grab we grab this geometry that we've already got here and we mix it we merge it with the converted geometry which is already a polygon i'm going to show you we can intersect geometry and sort of blend it and have it feel okay so say we we've got something like that right we obviously see that it's two different kinds of geometry and when you render this you're gonna get that weird effect but if we do if we convert it back into a poly bdv it blends it and then convert it back into um vdv convert and turn it into a polygon you see it becomes one now obviously you're gonna be like hey man like this is super low resolution but you increase the voxel size and there you go you begin to get as high res as you want and you can crash your system pretty easily when you when you start going that low um so say we've got something like that and if we wanted to like smooth it out you could come in and do like a bdb smooth as the f so it feels liquidy and and there you go and you know it's even cooler when you begin to like move it and animate it because the geometry is going to actually um like feel like it's melting it's going to react it's going to it it it, it is it almost feels like it um it calculates as you as you pass it through so it's very interesting and then if you want this to feel like even more liquidy you could potentially do that like reduce that reduce the the voxel size so that it feels like it's doing something like that and then you could add some noise afterwards like say we were to add a mountain sub um, and reduce the height and reduce the element size dramatically And let's go ahead and do a quick expression dollar f divided by one so that it animates over time. Real time playback, still too fast. Thousand. So we get that smooth movement there. 
and then it's still pretty low resolution but then you could always do another bdv from polygons and another smooth and another convert and increase the voxel size so so it's just fun to play with you can come up with some really neat results um bdv from polygons let's reduce that so if you have this geometry moving you can see it feels like it's melting and then uh, since it's moving like this then it's gonna move like um cohesively across both geometries right and feel like one all right so please feel free to leave any comments or any any thoughts um remember that there's lots of ways of experimenting once you get it here you can also turn this into particles and then the particles back into the bdv um into a vdb and then the also you you can also use this technique to transform fogs and smoke and all this fancy stuff all right so we'll be back with more examples and thank you for watching <laughs>